Okay, you've already been hearing in, in the media, and if you haven't, you should have, that calcium may be dangerous for you. It's more than a maybe. The fact of the matter is that the human body is not prepared to take large amounts of calcium, even tums in considerable quantities, and it ends up taking the calcium, and instead of depositing in your bones, what it's doing is depositing it in the arteries. The result is that taking calcium as pills increases your risk of getting coronary artery disease, heart attacks and strokes. That's a serious issue. Now, the argument is that below, a, say, 1,000 milligrams of calcium, it may not be as bad. But I've seen other studies in other parts of the world that say at 600, some would say at 300. Fact of the matter is, you need to stay away from supplements that has calf calcium. Oh, by the way, the calcium companies, the companies that make this stuff, are coming out with all kinds of new spin to explain why you need more study, it's not clear, blah, 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 blah. But if you were my family, what would I advise? Do not take extraneous calcium, calcium that you can get in, in a pill form or in chewable form or whatever. If your body needs calcium, get it from the foods that we have listed right now. There are plenty of foods that slowly but surely give small amounts of calcium out during the day, and that can give you the calcium that your body needs, but will not increase the risk of getting cardiovascular disease. This is Dr. Sam Benjamin with Medical News You Can Use.